Hello viewers, you are welcome to this video. Today I want to introduce you to finite differences interpolation. Finite differences interpolation. Viewers, first of all, interpolation is a method of estimating values between known data points. In fact, I have two videos on Lagrange polynomial interpolation. Those of you who have not watched those videos, you are advised to do so before watching this one. Let SI, FI be a set of data points tabulated at equal interval H such that SI is equal to S0 plus IH. What this means is that, what this means is that if I is equal to 1, that means that x1 is equal to s0 plus 1h, and that is h. I see it? Now, if I is equal to 2, we have s2 is equal to s0 plus 2h, and this is the same as s0 plus h plus h. And don't forget, s0 plus h is the same as x1. So this will be the same as x1 plus h. Isn't it? Similarly, x3 will be equal to x0 plus 3h. Isn't it? And this is the same as x2 plus h. So what this means is that if you are at x1, you want to get to x2. You need to add h. This is add h to, to s1 to get to s2. If you add s2, you want to get to s3. You need to add h before you get to s3. I see. So what you see is that there is a constant range between the successive values of s. So if s not is see one, then s2 can be two, s1 can be two, s2 can be three, four, five, six, and so on. There is a constant range between the successive values of x. Okay. Now, first forward difference is defined by delta fi is equal to fi plus 1 minus fi. Isn't it? So, this means that delta f naught will be equal to when you put 0 here, this one will be f 1 minus f don't forget i is 0 delta f1 i is 1 so that will be f2 minus f1 delta f2 will be f3 minus f2 and then delta f3 will be f4 minus f3 so, first forward difference is defined by this. And US, data F0, data F1, data F2, and data F3 are called first forward differences. First forward differences. Now, higher order differences are defined by data MFI. Is equal to delta delta m minus one f i. Now, what this means is that if you have say delta squared f i, this one will be delta delta f i. You see, you are using indices. You see that here the power is one, so one. And so, and then this one, the power is m minus 1. When you add the, the powers, the exponents, you should get m. So if this one is 1, then 1 plus m minus 1, that will give you m, isn't it? So, higher order differences are defined by this. Okay, now viewers, let's look at this and bring this lecture to an end because I'm introducing you to finite differences evaluation. You don't have to disturb you so many things. So, what they are saying is that we have 
a table like this. These are the S values, SI, and they have FI, the functional values, the corresponding functional values. Then you can have delta FI that is first and the forward differences. Then you can have delta squared FI that is second forward differences. And then finally, we can also have delta key fi, third forward difference. So we can call this table a forward differences table. So if the, the, the x values are, see, x0, x1, x2, x3. Then each of these x values will have a corresponding functional value. So if you have this s not then corresponding functional value can be f not. This one, the functional value f1, f2, f3. Are you seeing it? Now let's look at the first forward differences. Now to find the first forward difference here, this one will be delta. Delta F naught. Look at how I've written in US. You see, this is F naught. This is a functional value for S naught. This is a functional value for S1. So you write it at the at the middle. Look at it. Use it. Now delta F naught is is equal to F1 minus F naught. Yes, because look at the the, the thing I gave to you. The definition delta F I equal to F I plus one minus F I. So delta F naught. And when you put that there, this is F one minus F naught. So this one will be F one minus F naught. So when you are given a table, then this will be a number. This will also be all these will be numbers. So if let's assume that here is six and here is two, then it means that in this case delta F naught will be six minus two. Which will be four. I see it. Now, the next one, so do this one and then write it at the, at the middle. This one will come here. This one will be delta F1. Delta F1 will be F2 minus F1. You move forward and then you come back. You see, you move forward two minus, you come back to very start. So F2 minus F1. And then this one will be delta F2. Delta F2 will be F3 minus F2. It is not in God at all. Now, let's continue. If you come here, you have these two values. So you write something at the middle. I see it. Now, this one will be delta squared. This is second forward differences. So this one will be delta squared F naught. Now delta squared F naught will be whatever value here minus this one. And the value here is delta F1 minus delta F naught. I will it and write it at the middle. And then the next one. This one will be delta squared F1. And this is equal to Delta F2 minus delta F1. Are you seeing it? And then this one will be third forward differences. Are you seeing it? And as far as this table is concerned, you are going to have only one. Yes, the third forward, you are going to have only one third forward difference. So if you extend the, the table, if you extend the x values and the corresponding functional values, then you are going to have more. You see? So it depends on the, 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 the problem at stake. Yes. So you need to understand. It's, it's not in God at all. All these will be numbers. So you need to understand. Now, this one will be delta cube. Let me clean this one. Delta cube F naught. I see it. And this one is equal to delta squared F1 minus delta squared f naught. So this will be a number. This will be a number. So if you want this one, you just subtract this from this. I said 
So viewers, by way of introducing you to final defense operation, these are the things that I have for you. In my next video, you look at forward differences interpolation. Where you, you are going to pick a typical question and the forward defense interpolation and solve it. Thank you very much for your attention. For more of this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Shamala Jr. if you have not done so. Thank you very much.